guys, okay? Just make sure you, you let them know when you leave the aid station so I know where everybody's at and we're tracking you guys down the course and making sure everybody's safe. All right, well, you're not going to be able to see us because we got the lights on here. It's race day. But here we are at the starting line. It's 5 a.m. Yeah. Lean Horse 50. Hang out with Cole and Juan here, both of their first 50 milers. So we just took the bus up from Custer. So they bus you up, you know, you show up at like uh, 3 o'clock, get on an hour and a half long bus ride, take you up here 50 miles north. So it's a point to point course. So we'll just be running from north to south back down to Custer. Got to get started here. Get after it. You guys, got anything to say? Yes, I do. Dave's one hell of a YouTuber. You guys need to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Okay, content's yeah, subscribe coming. Subscribe and comment. He's going to be doing a 100 mile or soon. 50,000 likes and we'll do it with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to the five people that end up watching this. Go! Kept on going. <laughs> Mile six aid station. morning fog here. Mile 10 check-in, cruising right now. Probably like 55 degrees out here. Absolutely beautiful area. Is this the aid station? Yep, yep. Right up here? All right, here. I remember, we're going up. The portal road to the finish, right? Now, this is when they started during the daytime on. Yeah. And I remember telling them, how many feet left?
All right, mile 19 check-in. I think this is the first time we're taking like a power walk break, right? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, up to this point, it's all been downhill, gradual downhill. Right around mile 19, you start doing a steady incline. So that's where we are right now. All right, we're coming in on the mile 20 aid station. Hey. Mile 25, check in. We are halfway there. <laughs> and uh, just finished a really gnarly uphill section from mile 19 to 25, or six miles. It was just straight uphill, probably right around 7% grade incline consistently. And we're in an exposed area and the sun's out now. So really starting to warm up. But that was a rough, section for me at least. So it's nice yeah, to be on flatter ground. So are we done with that? Coming in on the mile 27 aid station. Turns out that uphill climb is actually from mile 19 to 27. Thought that it uh, was flattening out there a few miles back, but it continues on. So about eight miles of about 7% grade incline. But here we are, coming into mile 27 aid station. Mile 30 check-in, uh, that's the guy that's going out ahead of me right now. Uh, I just told him they could keep going on ahead because they're running much stronger than I am, faster pace. And uh, so I didn't want to hold them back. So I'm just taking a quick walk break. Sun's really starting to beat on me. The last like 10 miles or so have been uh, very difficult for me. So I'm just hoping to push through this rut and uh, hopefully come out ahead. I know there's gonna be some big incline coming up in about five miles or so. So just trying to get mentally prepared and uh, keep moving forward. Made it to Hill City. Mile 35. 146. Gotcha. Just headed out from the mile 35 aid station. I was there for probably like 15 minutes. Taking a break. This sun is roasting me. I just puked. Feeling really, really rough right now, which is a little under 15 miles to go. miles in uh, there was an aid station at mile 40 and it's feeling pretty rough but decided to keep powering on with this sun man brutal it's just wasting me sun and the altitude so I live down at sea level so being up here in the mountains it's really doing a number on me so I'm gonna try my best to finish this thing. Mile 
mile 45 finally made it to the top of that godforsaken hill it's like five miles just straight steep incline brutal right in the middle of like the worst heat of the day just brutal uh lady back there everyone bad water she's like i'm from bad water and this is brutal so that provides some perspective of just how hot it is out here right now i was uh, actually thinking about dropping and i called my wife and had her meet me at the top of that hill and i told her on the phone i was like i'm dropping as soon as i get up there but once i made it to the top i was like i just got five more to go so it's starting to flatten out a bit so i'm just gonna push on and try to get across the finish line One of the downsides about the back end of this race is that there's no tree coverage like there was at the start. So, she's got the sun beating down on you out here without too much protection. All right, mile 46. And look what I just caught up with. Let's go, Dad. <laughs> Came at the right time. <laughs> Yeah, David.